Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Thursday, September 20th, 2018, and we're so excited to have in studio Advanced Space. Oh, and you can go into your first couple tunes.
a song called Summon Satan. You tried to summon Satan, but screwed up the incantation. You left an open portal on your parents' kitchen wall. The demons you released that day stayed with you along your way, screaming in your ear, kill them all. You can worry about the future. You can worry about the past. about how long this curse is going to last. You were walking through the park one night, angry looking for a fight, when you heard a busker playing an accordion. And you stuck him twice and down he fell, sealed your passage straight to hell, and you knew he wants you to kill again. You can worry about the future. You can worry about the past. You can worry about how long this loneliness will last. face so owen i know it might be kind of an undertaking but i'm wondering if you can list all the pets that you've ever had all the pets i've ever had yeah <laughs> because of animal sure. companionship <clears throat> i had a golden retriever named uh lucy when i was really young that my grandpa got me as a surprise on my birthday didn't ask my parents <laughs> nice. <laughs> we lived in a pretty small suburban house so we had that dog for about a year and then it went to live on a big farm so my parents told me yeah. with well, uh, other golden retrievers, but I think it's true because I've asked them like years later and they're like, no, it really truly went to live on a farm. Um, so Lucy was the first dog. That's the only dog I've ever had. I had a cat named Penny. It was a calico. And later we had a Manx named Rufus. No, uh, Ramsey. Then there was a fluffy cat named Sophie who only liked my dad. <laughs> A lot of fish. My brother had a rat named Chip. Um, and then as a grown man, I now have a cat named Rufus. And we just got a kitten. This kitten just showed up in our yard a couple months ago. And we named her Poppy. So I have two cats now. Nice. And did you ever have any sea monkeys? No. Okay. <laughs> did you? I did. Yeah. I don't know if they quite count, though. They're so small and die I think so if soon. they're not aware of you, then it's not a pet. Right. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> personal philosophy. I was going to ask you, um, with regards to animal companionship, what kind of are you drawn to as far as the dog-human relationship? Because I read somewhere yeah. that you're actually a cat person. Well, but. yeah, I've mostly had cats. Mm -hmm. I had the one dog. I I like being like an uncle to friends' dogs, but yeah. there's like too, too much maintenance for I like a cat because it's more of a roommate relationship. And yeah. like, hey, you're home tonight? Let's hang out. But otherwise, it's like they kind of do their own thing. Yeah, dogs yeah. are just like all up in your face. They're intense. Yeah. 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 Um, so what kind of dog-human relationships did you kind of in put in this album? Um, some of them are based on friends of mine, and they don't know it. Maybe they figured it out. But, <laughs> but some fictional dogs. I went through a really big Stephen King phase recently. And listen to Cujo and like Pet Cemetery on audiobook while on tour, like back to back. And 
just thought about dogs a lot. But there's no like evil killers and no dogs die on the record. I wanted it to be like nice. It's a friendly. family fam- family friendly record. Yeah, most <laughs> mostly. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Let's do your next two songs. Sure. Um, I'm going to do the song called Christmas in Nightmare City, which is about Gary, Indiana, um, leaving for tour in two days. And a bunch of these songs are very new. I'm still, like, getting comfy with them. Heat is blowing in the car Over the sound of a college game Don't know the team names But it's nice to have a voice on Didn't mean to drive so far But you just had to get away Walked in circles around the house all day So you had to turn a light on Stop for half a tank of gas Put some Skittles in the Diet Sprite Could have stared at the beers all night But you noticed the clerk was watching Gary's beautiful at night By the lights of the refinery It's like Christmas in Nightmare City It's absolutely shocking What do you call what you are now? Three months dry and gaining weight Wondering how long it's supposed to take Before he feels stronger Call your dog. is fixed right there in front of the old coffee shop is Walter just sitting where he'd always sit he was staring in the window maybe at you Whomever's walking in to fetch your muffins and your Sunday papers the way we used to. I don't drink coffee that much anymore. When I do, I fix it at home. Don't do the crossword Sundays. I can feel dumb in the ways I can never finish that more Sundays I ride down to the dog park On the other side of town Just to sit down in the shade And watch those puppies running around Feeling bad 
dreading every call The constant screaming dialogue I swear that there were some days I felt like I was only Coming around for your dog All the sunny days with Walter Chasing squirrels around the park And the way he'd flip And he would see me come Like the way he did this morning With that big old Walter bark Bark, bark Bark, bark Thanks. You're tuning into Audio Tree Live. We're here with Advanced Bass. So, Owen, I know you run a record label called Ordinal Records. What artists are you super excited about on that label? Um, yeah, it's called Arundel. It's uh, named after the town where my folks are from called Arinda in California. So people from San Francisco Bay Area pronounce it like I pronounce it, and everyone <laughs> else pronounces pronounce it differently. But, like uh, how I just did. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I guess you're not a California kid. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, so, yeah, I started the label to release my own music, but it's kind of, it's grown, and I'm about to put out the 37th release, and it's folks from all over the U.S., but uh, um, Gia Margaret's from here in Chicago. Yeah, um, she's awesome. Yeah, she's great. She, we're going to go on tour together starting Sunday. Um, so her record came out this summer. And um, I'm doing this really long tour for this record, and I'm doing a bunch of legs with different artists from Arundel, like Friendship from Philadelphia. Nice. And Karima Walker, who's from Tucson, and Lisa Liza from Portland, Maine, and Greg Jamie from Maine, and some doing shows with Hello Shark from Philly, and Moon Racer from North Carolina. I mean, it's probably like 15, 16 artists on the label now. That's and, uh, super exciting. It's been good. It feels like a good community, and people are real supportive of each other. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Do you produce any of the albums on your label? At the beginning, I did more of that, but um, um, uh, most of the people on the label record themselves. Oh, that's really yeah. cool. Yeah, like there's this guy, Robert Stillman, who's from England and kind of makes spiritual jazz records, but he does everything on, by, on his own on four track, which is astonishing to me, and... I, there's nothing I could do to help him. He's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, most of the artists are like self-recording, kind of like DIY kind of people. Yeah. What about your recording process? I know you've worked with some people for this past record. Um, can you yeah. tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, the new record, Animal Companionship, I recorded in Los Angeles with my friend Jason Queever, who uh, has a band called The Paper Cuts, and he's recorded... He's a just professional recording engineer. That's his whole deal. But I've known him since college. But he's recorded like Beach House and Luna and... Cass McCombs and a um, bunch of Bay Area bands, a band called Sugar Candy Mountain. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, we've been friends forever. So to go out and record with him, it was super easy because I know him, he knows me, and um, it's just we got right to work. It was great. That's awesome. Really exciting for the, or really excited for the tour coming up. That sounds Me too. Amazing. I'm a little scared. Hope my old little <laughs> Subaru holds up. But uh, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, super cool. All right, let's do your next two. Sure. This is another song from the new record. It's called Care. To our neighbor's cries The sting of smoke in our sleepy eyes I said, baby, better get dressed Get the dog, we can leave the rest By the time we got downstairs The fire engines were ready You were so scared I held you and kissed your smoky hair That's when 
Thanks. You're watching Audio Tree Live. We are here with Advanced Bass. So, Owen, I know you mentioned a lot of these songs are new, or some of them are new. Is there a new album coming that you're preparing? Yes. Yay! Animal <laughs> Companionship comes out tomorrow. It's on Bandcamp right now. I think the digital downloads are $5. You can buy it currently, presently. Are there any songs not on Animal Companionship that you've been playing? I played one. That's Summon Satan song. Mm -hmm. All the ones that talk about dogs are the new ones. Yes. I'm going to play song right now from the first advanced bass album it's called summer music Sounds but uh good. yeah thanks for having me thanks for Appreciate being it. on the air yeah watching audio tree live this has been a session with advanced space to wrap up i want to give a thank you to everybody in studio the sound engineers the camera and lighting crew and to all of you for watching if you liked what you heard you can download or stream this session in a few weeks when it comes out and from all of us here at audio tree live thanks for watching all right so you guys want to do it for real now <laughs>